In this video, we will be doing a tutorial on how to use the KuCoin exchange. KuCoin exchange is one of the top exchanges in the world and is one of the exchanges that has a lot of liquidity and volume in it. Hi guys, I'm Arab Deplog and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on this channel, you know, we will talk about how to trade the cryptocurrency market, forex market and how to make money from the internet. So this video is going to be a long tutorial on how to use everything available to be used on the KuCoin exchange, how to place your trade on KuCoin, how to deposit, how to trade futures, how to withdraw, how to use KuCoin P2P platform and every other thing available on KuCoin. So it's actually going to be a long one, but it's going to be worth it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that you get maximum value from the contents of this video. Also, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button so that a lot of people get to see this and if you subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get right into my skin and I will show you how to do it properly. The first thing you want to do is sign up on KuCoin and you can do that by just using the link in the description box below to sign up. So after you have signed up, you have opened an account and you have started, like you want to start trading on KuCoin, the first thing you want to do is to learn how to deposit on KuCoin. So there are different ways different way by which you can deposit on KuCoin, but the easiest way is fast trade. So let's just look at that and see what it entails. So fast trade is simply a way by which you buy and sell a crypto asset on KuCoin with the Nigerian era. So once you have this interface, the first thing you want to do is to select the currency. If you are not in Nigeria, you select the currency used in your country. If you are in Ghana, Cameroon, South Africa, Rwanda, and the like, just select the currency of your country. Right now, I will select Nigerian Nigeria, then I will put in amount. Let's I want to buy with 60,000 Nigerian Nigeria, I will be getting 35 USDT. If you want to buy any other coin aside USDT, you can just come here and select the coin. Whether it is USDC, XLM, Bitcoin, anything you want to buy. Just select it. But if, for the sake of this video, I will leave it at you. So, how do you pay, make payment? You can make payment using the Nigerian bank, like GTB, UB, and the likes. You can use the bank, and you can also use OP. So let's let's use bank and let's click on buy. So once you use bank and click on buy, you confirm. You will be taken to a platform where you would be able to like trade you will be given an account number where we will send to more like a p2p trading platform you get an account number and you make payment so once you make payment you would be able to get access to your usdt but for the sake of this video we are not making any payment you just click on cancel once you click on cancel click on continue and the trade would be cancelled so for the sake of you that want to buy, you don't need to cancel, just go ahead and make the payment. Click on I have made payment. I want to click on that. You would get access to that coin that you have chosen to buy. And also, if you want to sell your crypto asset on, on KuCoin, just click on sell right here. Once you click on sell, put in the amount of USDT, any other coin you want to sell, it be like, fifty dollars you you see the equivalent of that in Nera according to the coin market rate then you actually you have to go to the settings and put in the you go to your account settings and put in the bank details and every other details you need before you'll be able to like sell your USDT but then if you can't sell here you also can go to the P2P market and sell at the p2p market so if you want to sell at the p2p market let's just explain the p2p concept right here before we get into other part of the video so if you want to sell on p2p platform on kucoin this is how to do it once you click on the p2p platform once you click on p2p platform this is what you have the first thing you do is change the currency to Nigerian Naira, right? So once you change the currency to Nigerian Naira, you are going to get different things. So this is 
USDT. Let's say you want to buy USDT, you would see different vendors, merchants on the platform who want to sell USDT to you. So you can actually buy from them and you can also sell to them. So let's let's do the buy aspect first so that you learn how to use P2P on KuCoin. Let's do the buy, the buy aspect. So let's say you want to buy USDT on KuCoin using the P2P platform. So this is more like a, a brief P2P uh, tutorial. So you look at all the uh, the vendors, look at their the orders they have completed. The first thing is that you have to look at vendors who have completed more orders and who have who are very fast in their transaction how do you know they are fast you look at the percentage completion 99 percent 99.13 percent 99.86 percent you should be telling people with people that have at least 95 percent upward then once you have selected someone then you look at the price how what is the rate at which they are buying they are willing to sell to you because you want to buy so you you look at which one of them has the lowest rate let's say this one then available order limits what is the minimum they want to buy the minimum is zero to hundred thousand naira, which is like 57.6 uh usdt payment method palm pay so you suit you choose the one that suits the payment method and the amount you want to buy this one is 100k to 500k this one is 50k to 4 million so let's say you want to buy 50,000 naira. So you can select this one because it's 50k to 4 million. But I select this one too, which is like 0 to 100k. You can select someone that has a higher limit. This one has limit of 100k to 50 million. So you can't select this because it is not within your limit. So look for someone that has a higher completion rate and within the limit. And also look at the payment method. So this one is just accepting payment method from any bank in Nigeria. So once you see someone like this, let's say you want to buy 100k, you click on buy, put in the Nigerian amount, 100k, this is how much you get in USDT 61, click on place order. Once you click on place order, you would, you get the account number of that person. Once you get the account number, you make the transfer to the account, and once the transfer is made, the person release, confirm the account in his bank and releases the coin to you. So this is the same step you use in selling your coin on P2P platform too. You look for someone that want to buy within the range of amount of you want to buy. Look for someone that has a lot of other completed orders with a very fast completion rate, like 95%, 94%, 98%, 99%, then you sell to the person. Also, these people always have terms and conditions. Before you buy, you look at terms and conditions. For example, drop number for sweep payment. You have to know that once you click place trade with this kind of person, you must drop your phone number in the chat box before you can place trade with them. So you must drop your number in the chat box before you can place trade with them. So that is that about how to buy on P2P. So now let's go to how to deposit the kind of wallet we have on Binance. So we have actually have different kind of wallets on Binance and this is where you get it. You can just go here. You can simply just go to this place and click on assets overview. So once you click on that, you'll be taken to where you have the KuCoin wallet. So the wallets are different kind. You have the overview, which is more like the overview of all the wallets. Then you have trading wallets. You have funding wallet, which is more like the P2P wallet, where you move money you want to sell or the money you just bought. Like if you just bought crypto from P2P platform or just bought crypto from the quick buy, it is going to be on the funding wallet. So then trading wallet is a wallet that is available for your trading, that like spot trading. Then you have the margin wallet for margin trading. You have the futures wallet for futures trading and like that. So now let's talk about how to deposit and withdraw. If you want to deposit into a cool coin from an external wallet, just click on deposit, click on deposit crypto. Then you would be able to 
select the coin you want to deposit whether it is usdt btc or any coin once you select usdt for example you choose a network let's say erc then you'll be given an address this address is the same address that you would put in uh you would put the ad address you copy you paste the address at the external wallet where you want to send usdt from so i make sure that the uh network you select is the exact network that will be selected from the external wallet when the coin is being sent so that is a very simple way to deposit a uh, coin into your cool coin account so the next thing is that how do you withdraw from your cool coin so you can just withdraw by clicking on the withdraw button here then then after that you'll be able to select the asset you want to withdraw let's say uh, usdt then you you put in the address you want to withdraw to sorry so you put in the address you want to withdraw to you select the network and once you do all this you'll be able to click withdraw button and you withdraw from your account so it is very simple and straightforward that is how to deposit and withdraw on coolcoin and that's in spot trading the next thing is spot trading yes just click on the spot trading uh, icon right here spot trading once you click on that you have the spot trading interface this spot trading insta interface is very simple and easy to use you have so Spot trading interface actually has some things and it is very simple and straightforward. The first thing you have is the asset you are trading, which is BTC USDT. That is actually the asset you are trading. And also you have the chart. This is where you can look at the chart and analyze the market. You can actually add some tools some trading tools this is pretty much like trading view uh version of the chart it's pretty much like a trading view version of the chart so you can analyze your market using this particular place and if you want to change the assets you are analyzing or you want to trade you can just click on this place and search for any coin maybe ethereum gmt mana solana any asset you want to trade just click here and search for it so once you have done that and you have seen this there is what something you call the other book other book is what we have there it is more like a record of the buy orders and sell orders that are going in the market so these are orders placed by some traders in the market on this exchange kucoin and the green ones the green ones are buy orders and these ones are sell orders so how do you buy how do you place trades how do you set buy and sell orders so you set by sell orders here right here so you can use markets or limit order and there are advanced limit orders as well, as well but as a beginner i'll just advise you to use the market and limit order market order simply means you are buying that asset at the current market price as at when you are placing the trade and limit order simply means that you are actually taking that trade not at the exact market price but at a price uh at a at a actually at a different price maybe you want to buy bitcoin for example and bitcoin is too expensive and you want bitcoin to go down before you buy it you can use limit buy and if you want to sell too you can also use the same market and limit to sell so let's just do a little bit of test let's look at the market let's say at the market price i want to buy bitcoin because what we have here is btc usd best market price let's say i want to use 30 dollar to buy bitcoin from my usdt i just click buy and once i click buy i have the usdt i have the btc magazine you have placed the order successfully market buy BTC USDT and then this BTC I just bought I can change it again back to USDT by just clicking on sell again click on 100% and click on sell you will see that the BTC will move and it's going to turn to USDT so 
that is how to buy and sell using the market order but limit order is an order you place for the market to to pick at a later time not immediately because price has actually not reached that particular point where you want to buy so let's say you want to set a buy limit of fifty one thousand dollars you want the market to buy for you when the price gets to fifty one thousand dollar and you want to buy a volume with a volume of sorry so you want to buy with a volume of fifty dollars what all you do is just put the price you want to buy then use the money the amount of money in your wallet the amount of usd you want to use to buy and click buy and you see that a pending order would be placed you have placed the successful order limits by and the order would be down here so you can cancel the order anytime and cancel you see i just cancel the order and it has disappeared so that is that about placing buy orders and sell orders on kucoin so the next thing is how do you trade futures on kucoin so all you have to do is go to uh these derivatives and you just go to usd margin contract futures trading we have like two different kind of futures trading one is usd margin contract and we have coin uh, based contract so usd margin contract means you are trading futures with usdt so this is the futures interface then all you have to do is to first and foremost select the asset you want to trade btc usdt you can also use this to analyze the charts you can use this to analyze the chart you can select something different like Pyth. right this is a new coin that has been trending right you can analyze it using this trading view to analyze then you also can place your trade here the first thing you want to do when you want to place your trade is select your leverage leverage is pretty much like a borrowed money from your exchange a borrowed money from the exchange that allows you to make much more money on a futures trade that you place so you say leverage the leverage is high please control the risk so you can select a higher you can select a low level i usually advise that as a beginner you don't select above 10x leverage so once you select the leverage you can also buy and sell on futures using the market and limit order so you just have to like select the kind of order you want to use input the amount and buy or long or sell short in futures trading we have long trades and we have short trades yes you have long trade and long short trades. long trade means mean you are buying and predicting that the market is going to move in the opposite in, in in the upper direction which means the price is going to increase and if you place a long trade and the price starts increasing you are making money and if the price start decreasing then you start losing money and if you place a short trade it means you are predicting that the market is going to short and going to like come down in price and if it does that you make money from your short trade and if it does not you make money you lose money from your short trade so that is pretty much what futures is all about so apart from trading spot and futures there are some other things you can do on kucoin some of the things you can do on kucoin is stick on kucoin and earn money so you can invest to earn a stable income income on kucoin so you can just there is the balanced mode of of staking so you can stake different kind of coin coin and look at the amount of percentage you earn sticking this coin you can see this one is 24 percent and it is fixed right so you can look at the details the time limit to 70 days 24 percent and if you are interested in that you can just click on it and select so staking is actually one of the aspects of crypto that a lot of people don't look into which actually makes people a lot of money so i'm going to make more videos on sticking of cryptocurrency especially on kucoin so make sure you stick around on this platform and subscribe so another thing you can look at on kucoin is the markets available on kucoin 
KuCoin is actually a, a platform that has a lot of gem coins on it, coins that people invest in and make lots of money from. So if you are a trader that trades gem coins, that look at gem coins, coins that with high volatility and the ability to give a lot of profit, then you should consider using KuCoin a lot. Thank you for watching this video and thank you if you have made it this far. It was actually a very long video, but I am very sure that it is worth the time. If you want to learn more on how to trade the cryptocurrency market, how to become a legitimate and expert trader, consider getting the 10x cryptocurrency mastermind, which is a course I've put together and a course that has helped over 100 people to learn how to trade the cryptocurrency market. In this course, you'll be learning how to trade the spot market, how to trade the futures market, how to do a proper fundamental analysis so that you'll be able to know which coin would give you massive returns on investment, how to do a proper technical analysis ranging from candlestick chart, smart money concept, strategies, and the likes. You would also be learning risk management, trading psychologies, and a lot more. If this interests you, consider getting this course for $100 and it's going to be worth it. You can find a link to that in the description below or somewhere around this video.